Tonight we're taking action for an elderly woman living next to door, not to one, but to two vacant houses. And she's afraid for her safety at this point, so she is turning to our own Ronnie Dahl for some help. And Ronnie joins us live from Detroit's east side with more on this story. Ronnie. Well, I don't know how much help we're actually going to be able to get her, but I'll have to tell you, you know, with the homeowners no longer around, the 86-year-old went to city officials to try to get the problem addressed and to have those owners held accountable. That has yet to happen. Things have gotten so bad out here, she's now afraid to sit on her front porch. I shouldn't have to live in fear. Bernice Warren has lived in her Detroit home for 50 years, but this is not the neighborhood she bought into. And I never thought that I would have to live like this. But that's dangerous. That's dangerous. The longtime Detroit resident no longer feeling safe because of the vacant blinded properties that sit next door. One recently boarded up, the other wide open, condemned years ago, and Bernice is forced to live in between. You guys have been in contact with the city over these houses? Yes, and they transfer you from one department to the other. They don't do anything. So while Bernice struggles to maintain her two-story home... I just got this from Safeway Construction Company, where I have a leak, and they're going to repair it to the tune of over... $6,000. The other properties set. Outside, the weeds are waist high. And inside, take a look at the kitchen. Stove, gross, disgusting. Conditions are unfit for a rat. A check of online records show blight violations haven't been issued on either property in years, leaving Bernice feeling trapped. At 86, I don't think I'll be moving. I have a right to stay in my own home. Mm -hmm. They keep talking about Detroit's comeback. Ha! Huh. Baloney. No way. Not the neighborhoods. I'm guessing this problem wouldn't last this long if it was in the downtown area. So here's what's going to happen next. I reached out to uh, Duggan's administration. I'm told they're going to be sending out a city inspector to issue those bite or blight violations. Also, city council did approve for that house uh, to be torn down in 2015. However, there are no funds available. So the most that's really going to happen out here is maybe some volunteers will be able to come out here and the city will provide some boards for the house to be secured, but it's a start. And so we'll stay on it. But I have to ask you if this was your mother, your grandmother living in between these two homes, is that really the solution and the best that we can do for a long time Detroit resident? Stephen, back to you. All right, Ronnie, it sounds like you're doing a lot. Just getting some attention to that problem. I think we're gonna probably motivate some folks to help her out. We appreciate that.